All right, I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, the, those guys with the guns over there, they'll order the without same question. You're all the same team, O'Brien. It just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but... It's why I need your help. My help? Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know my name? Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story, and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Brian, yeah, I'm here. What do you, uh... One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just, just go! Don't lose it. Jesus, okay. All right. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? The destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to their LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have sp uh, spy satellites? Shit like that? And th
What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? The destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to their LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have spy, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you. Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Please don't lose them. O'Brien's are landing. Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guy, like me, guarded by a bunch of goons. I need you to get close to the researcher. The wavelength recorder is sent to the channel for you to record data. You record everything they're doing. Okay, so you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar-wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you could spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Place one of them on their helo. I heard something. Almost all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I want to find out where they're going next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking to what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. It's just gotta be good. Something's out there is good.
071. Checking the traps at site 14 Alpha. I've confirmed a large male subject with confirmed albinism mutation. The subject has expected lack of skin pigmentation and reddish eyes. The muscle mass appears to be 40% greater than normal infected subjects. What was it you called them? Bleachers. Well, they're real. Well, this is only the third subject we've been able to study. As noted, their strength and ability to absorb damage make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted in other field reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Whatever is causing the mutation, it's spread rapidly. I thought I saw the right. What the hell, O'Brien? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Your boys were carving out the guts of a freak while it was still alive. They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Brian? O'Brien! God damn it, he did Something's it again. O'Brien, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Hello, squatter camp. The sons of bitches have been setting up ambushes around here, yeah? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's with a heavy heart. And I report six deaths and two injuries from my camp this week. Not from the usual shit. It was those damn black choppers. Let me tell you, everything I've been warning you about it's absolutely coming true. When those choppers touched down and wiped out an entire group of men and women who were screaming and begging for mercy. Citizens of this country. And they cut them down. My men returned fire, but... Shit! This won't be the last we hear of them either. Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these Those masses. Of Okay. To survive this has gotta be it. And mess with their plans. So. Yeah. I'm coming for you. Killing yeah. us off. She's gotta be out so here. So finally emerge from their gopher holes. Stay vigilant, people. And keep your eyes on the sky. Gotta, uh, this gotta is Mark be close. For Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah. Look out! Where the hell are you?
through here. Yeah, this will do it. Inside here. Got it. Lisa's handwriting, I want to forget. Oh, that sounds like something she would write. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, booze man? Are you, are you tired of laying around yet? Boozer. Hey, you can't be in come here, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, not good. Uh, it's cold. Uh, the They're not enough. 
<laughs> Never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <gasps> Look, all we can do is wait. <laughs> okay. All right. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about Deacon. this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. Well, you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. So, you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. He said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland, only it never shows up. The plane is doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. You getting it? Medicine. Back. Doctor we shit, cargo hold full of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Just like that. Where? Hey, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it. Now you don't. Right about. Here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak oh, Shit. So you go over there and you get caught? You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes... Okay. Yeah, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch? Keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. So we can always count on you. Shit, now what? Anything's better than standing around this shithole. This shit ain't worth the cost of the paper it's written on. That's a tough way to go out. Glad Mike was there for her. <laughs> 